in this procedure, we're coding a patient with hypertropia. That's our pre-op and post-op diagnosis. Remember, in real life, we would code that with an ICD-10 CM diagnosis code. Right now, we're just worried about learning the ICD-10 PCS code. So you don't have to code the CM code for the hypertropia, but in real life, you would. You always have to have a diagnosis to justify a procedure or show what we call medical necessity. So our procedure is a recess of the right superior rectus muscle that's five millimeters. So a description, again, read it through once and then go back a second time and determine what your intent is or what the root operation is. So if we read this, the patient was taken to the operating room and given general anesthesia by LMA. The right eye was prepped and draped in a normal, sterile, ophthalmic fashion. A lid speculum was placed in the right eye and traction sutures placed with the eye rotated down and out. The conjunctiva was open. The right superior rectal muscle was isolated from a formix open approach with care taken to make sure the entire muscle was incorporated on the hook. A double-armed 6-0 vicro suture was then woven through the distal muscle tendon in locking fashion and the muscle dis disinserted from the globe. Hemostasis was obtained with bipolar cartery. The needles were then passed through superficial sclera 5-0 millimeter posterior to the original insertion and the muscle tied down firmly into this position. Con the conjunctival wound was closed with interrupted 7-0 vicro sutures, erythromycin ointment was applied to the right eye, the patient was awakened and taken to the recovery room. Okay, so you always read it once and then go back a second time. So when we're going back, we need to determine what they really did here, okay? So the first few sentences are just getting the procedure started, right? So the patient was taken to the operating room, given anesthesia, the right eye was prepped and draped, a lid speculum was placed in the right eye and track sutures placed with the eye rotated down and out. Okay, so that's all just the prep. That's not even, we haven't done the procedure yet. That's just getting the patient ready. So we don't really focus on any of that. We focus when they really start to do the procedure, which is the next sentence. So the next sentence, it says the conjunctiva was opened. So that's where we actually are starting the procedure, right? And then it says the right superior rectus muscle was then isolated from a formic open approach with care taken to make sure the entire muscle was incorporated on the hook. A double-armed 6-0 vicro suture was then woven through the distal muscle tendon in locking fashion, and the muscle disinserted from the globe. Hemostasis was obtained using bipolar cautery. The needles were then passed through superficial sclera 5-0 millimeters posterior to the original insertion, and the muscle tied down firmly into this position. So what are we doing here? We're moving this eye muscle, right? So what is our root operation for moving something from one spot to another? Good, our root operation is reposition because we're repositioning that muscle, right? So if we look up reposition, let's look at that definition. It is moving to its normal location or other suitable location, all or a portion of a body part. So we are moving this eye muscle to a more posterior position because our patient has hypertropia. So in our index, in the front of your PCS code book, we're going to go to R to reposition. And then what are we going to look up from there? Reposition what?
well, we're repositioning a muscle. So uh, in our index, I'm looking up reposition. I'm on page 103, reposition, and then I'm going to go to M to muscle because that's what we're moving, right? And then where is that muscle at? Well, it was extraocular. And then it was the right eye. So we're moving an extraocular eye muscle. So if we go, again, reposition, muscle, extraocular, right, we see characters 0, 8, S, L. So now let's flip to that table. 0, 8, S, L. Page 294 in your PCS codebook is where this table is. So we'll see body part L for extraocular muscle, right? It's only in one row, the second row in that table. So we're going to go to row where L is. Now let's go to our fifth character, the approach. We have two choices, right? We have open or percutaneous. What did our procedure tell us? The conjunctiva was opened. And then it even goes on to say the right superior rectus muscle was then isolated from a form of open approach with care. So we definitely know it's open. Good job. Open. So our this character is zero for open. And then we have no device or no qualifier. Right? So our code is zero eight S L zero. Z, Z. Again, our root operation was reposition because we're moving that eye muscle. Our body part was L for that extraocular muscle of the right eye. And then our approach was open because we said the conjunctiva was open. And then there was not a device or qualifier.